Hey, what's happening? This is Jason Your Face Place. I am your host, Jason Your Face. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my San Diego Comic-Con 2023 Funko Pop haul. The Funkos that I picked up at the Mind Style booth. Now, this is probably going to be my last San Diego Comic-Con 2023 haul video because that's pretty much it. This is all I got. Uh, if you've seen the other videos of mine, these are the last exclusives that I bought. All right, so let's just get right into it. Um, I picked up three. I wanted more than that, but these were the ones that were in stock. So let's just start off with this Kieran, I believe is how you say it. Auspicious Beast. Check that out. I'm going to go ahead and share with you what the box looks like. Um, it did not come with this protector. I actually bought a bunch of protectors before I got to Comic-Con so that I could uh, pack up any purchases of mine and safely transport them in my luggage. Kieran's quite hefty. It's I can feel it. He's quite hefty. Uh, there is the official um, limited edition Comic-Con sticker there. Ooh. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. And it's actually a bobblehead. I didn't think it was going to be a bobblehead. This is Kieran, the auspicious beast. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Um, yeah, look at that. Okay, it says on the bottom. What does it say on the bottom? Mind style. Ooh, copyright mind style made in China. Funko LLC 2021. 2021? Okay, cool. That is really nice. It's very, I mean, it's for a piece of plastic. It's very solid. I love it. I love that auspicious beast. Next one. I wasn't planning on getting this one. This one is Song, one of the ancient armor warriors. So you can take a look at the box. There you go. There's the official sticker. So I ended up getting Song because I was in line for Mind Style. I got in line for like four or five, or tried to get in line four or five times, and each time the line was capped. Uh, so, I mean, these things are really popular. So I got in line, and I saw how cool he looked. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get Song too. And that's because I was told that the other one that I wanted was out of stock. And so I was like, well, I'm in the line already. I might as well, you know, get another one. It looks even better outside of the box. These Funko Pop ages are are pretty dope. I like them because they're more they're more detailed than your average pop. Oh man, he's got two swords too. You you can't get any better than that. Two swords. Now, if y'all been paying attention, you know my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is Leonardo because of the two swords. Oh my gosh, look at that armor and that mask. Dude, love it. Again, this is this is one that would be great to put on display. Last but not least, here is this big old boy, Wu Shi. Look at that. So this says China Traditions. This is, I don't have a pop protector this big. This guy is basically the lion for the lion, Chinese lion dances um, when there's a Lunar New Year. And this is a different colorway. Uh, I believe last year they sold the red and white one, the more traditional looking one. But this year they went with uh, black and gold. I did not go to Comic-Con last year. Me, me, me. So I did not get a, an opportunity to get the red and white one, which I really, really wanted because it's, I mean, it's traditional, right? But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to miss out on Wuxi this year. So I decided to get him. Uh, he's a big old boy. Let's just um, let him out of his cage. Very hefty, very beefy. This is amazing. <laughs> Look at this dude. Oh my gosh, let me show you the body there. Oh wow. Look at that thing. Oh, he's awesome. He's very like sturdy, thick, and beefy. 
This is so freaking cool. I'm so glad I got them. I almost didn't get them because, so I was going to get the Kirin, and then I'll show you the one that got away. They had a limit every day of, of each individual pop. So like they had so many of, you know, Kirin, so many of uh, Wuxi per day. Uh, so, and then they would cap the lines every now and then. And then they would just, if they ran out of stock of that particular pop that day, if they hit that limit, then you would have to come back the next day. And that's basically what happened to me when I wanted to get this one. Let me go ahead and show you. You'll see shortly. It is the Maneki Neko Lucky Cat. And it's flocked, meaning it has, uh, you know, like the fake fur. Like it's got a furry texture. And I really, really wanted that one. And now it's like, it's on eBay for like some exorbitant amount. It's probably like two, at least two or three times the amount uh, that the regular price was. So yeah, that was the one that got away. I got in line. And they had sold out of that one for the day. And I was like, I'm not going to come back. I, I'm still happy with what I got. Uh, that's just how it is. That's just how it works at Comic-Con. You can, you can make all your plans and then, you know, you, you can't see everything. You can't buy everything, but you just got to prioritize and play the hand you're dealt, right? Kind of like life. You just play the hand you're dealt. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comments below if you're a Funko Pop collector, and if so, which line or lines do you enjoy collecting from Funko? So my next video might be about San Diego Comic-Con 2023 freebies that I picked up. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and remember to be safe and be kind. Dang it, it's kid-proof. They always make these things. Everything that I have is kid-proof. It's probably because they're toys. And I'm a grown-ass man. I may have to edit this. Really? It's like, it's not even coming out. It's like, it doesn't want to, it's, it's, it's like, no, it's close. It's stuck. It's really stuck. And...